the five longevity blood tests you need to know about. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, there's at least five really critical blood tests you should have done because they predict how long you're likely to live, how long you're, how long you're likely to remain functional, both in your mind and your body. So when you have your next annual physical exam, these are blood tests your doctor normally would do anyway, but it's important for you to see the results with your own eyes, so you should get a copy of it. Now these are the blood tests of greatest interest. These are the five. Your fasting, and this means after a 12 to 14 hour fast, your blood should be drawn. And then what you want to know is what is your fasting level of blood sugar, or known as blood glucose? What's your total cholesterol level? What's your LDL cholesterol level? What's your HDL cholesterol level? What are your triglyceride levels? The point is that it's your diet and your lifestyle that primarily determines the values of these particular parameters. Now, there's some situations where genetics play an important role, but that's in the minority of cases. Now, when doctors see high blood levels in, in these areas, with, with these parameters or these tests, very often they just want to prescribe a drug to bring it down to the ideal range. But, and so it, 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 help, it makes people think that the way they're living their life doesn't really have an impact on it. But the fact is, how you live your life has the greatest impact on these blood levels. If they're high, it's a reflection of the fact that you have not been living your life in accordance with nature's plan for a long, healthy life. So what do these values actually mean? Well, if you have a high glucose level, a glucose that's beyond the normal range or the ideal range, you're at risk for heart attack, stroke. You're more likely to, de to develop Alzheimer's disease than someone else whose blood glu glucose is lower. Your risk of diabetes and diabetic complications is going to increase as you get older. And your risk of cancer increases because when your glucose is high, you have to secrete more insulin. Insulin stimulates cells to divide at a faster rate. When they do that, they make more genetic mistakes that lead to cancer cells, and then cancer cells feed off the high blood sugar because that's what cancer cells use for energy. So a high fasting glucose level above the ideal range that I, that I record is a, a recipe for disaster. The same is true for a high total cholesterol level. When your cholesterol level's higher, more of that cholesterol is going to uh, get laid down in the walls of the artery, leading to plaque development, putting you at high risk for a heart attack or a stroke many years earlier than it would have occurred uh, you know, originally. And then your LDL cholesterol level. Well, of the total cholesterol in your bloodstream, it's the LDL cholesterol that is the type of cholesterol that lays down deposits of cholesterol in the artery wall, that narrows your arteries and leads to heart attack and stroke. That brings us to the HDL cholesterol. What is that? Well, the HDL cholesterol is the good cholesterol. Your liver makes HDL. The HDL particle goes out and can actually like, take, be like a little vacuum cleaner and take some of the, the plaque or cholesterol out of the artery wall, open it up again to reduce your risk of heart attack and stroke. So a high HDL is very valuable. So once you know your total cholesterol and your HDL, knowing the total cholesterol to HDL ratio, uh, also is an interesting uh, predictor. Now what about what are called triglycerides? Triglycerides are sort of the fats that are in your bloodstream. And with, with, when fats are in the bloodstream at a high level, you start to run into uh, uh, other problems. It, it means that you're at higher risk for things like pancreatitis, heart attack, or, or, and it can be a reflection that you're on your way to having diabetes, or you're just drinking too much alcohol. So what I'd like you to do is to click on the link below, and you can download for free a copy of my comprehensive book called The Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. It explains the dietary and lifestyle plan that I follow and my patients follow to get those blood tests into the ideal range. That's how it gets done. At the back of the book, you'll see all the important blood tests listed with all the ideal ranges for longevity so you can have a, a long, disease-free uh, life. The truth is you owe it to yourself and to your loved ones to have a long life and a functional life, both your brain and your body. And that requires that you follow an evidence-based dietary and lifestyle program and get your blood tests into the ideal range as I outline them. So click on the link below. 
download a copy of my book, read it from cover to cover, look at the, the blood test at the back of the book. It shows you the ideal range for longevity of all of those tests and make sure you're, you're meeting them. That's the definitive moment to see if you're really on track or off track. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know you're getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.